Hey everyone, welcome back to your favorite channel Prompt Engineer. Today we're diving deep into a question that's been capturing the imagination of scientists, philosophers and tech enthusiasts alike could artificial intelligence become conscious. As AI continues to advance at a breakneck pace, this question is no longer just the stuff of science fiction. It's a real consideration that's keeping experts in various fields up at night. From the latest chatbots that seem almost human-like in their responses, to the complex algorithms making decisions that affect our daily lives, AI is becoming an increasingly integral part of our world. But could these artificial minds ever develop the kind of inner experience that we call consciousness? Could a computer ever feel happiness, experience the color red, or fall in love? These are the questions we'll be exploring today. So buckle up and get ready for a journey into the fascinating world of AI and consciousness. Before we can tackle the question of AI consciousness, we need to understand what consciousness actually is. And here's where things get tricky because despite centuries of philosophical debate and decades of scientific research, we still don't have a universally agreed upon definition of consciousness. At its most basic, consciousness is our subjective experience of the world and ourselves. It's that feeling of being you, your thoughts, emotions and sensations. When you see a beautiful sunset, taste your favorite food or feel the warmth of a loved one's hug, consciousness is what allows you to have a subjective experience of these sensations. But consciousness goes beyond just sensory experiences. It also encompasses our sense of self, our ability to reflect on our own thoughts and our feeling of agency in the world. It's what makes us feel like we're more than just biological machines responding to stimuli we have an inner life. A stream of consciousness that feels uniquely our own. The challenge is that consciousness is inherently subjective. We can't directly observe or measure someone else's conscious experience. We can only infer it based on their behavior and reports of their inner states. This subjectivity is what makes consciousness such a hard nut to crack for scientists. Despite these challenges, neuroscientists have been working hard to understand how consciousness arises in our brains. There are several competing theories about the neural basis of consciousness, but today we'll focus on three main ones, Integrated Information Theory, IAT, Global Neuronal Workspace Theory, GNWT, Attention Schema Theory, AST. Each of these theories has different implications for whether AI could ever be conscious, which we'll explore later in the video. Now that we have a basic understanding of what consciousness is, let's look at how current AI systems compare to human brains. This comparison is crucial because if AI is going to become conscious, it presumably needs to function in a way that's at least somewhat similar to how our brains work. First, let's consider the basic architecture. Our brains are incredibly complex networks of neurons, about 86 billion of them, with roughly 100 trillion connections between them. These neurons communicate through electrical and chemical signals, forming intricate patterns of activity that somehow give rise to our conscious experience. Modern computers, on the other hand, are based on what's called the von Neumann architecture. In this setup, there's a clear separation between the processing unit CPU and memory. Information has to be constantly shuttled back and forth between these components which creates what's known as the von Neumann bottleneck. This leads us to the first major difference processing style. Our brains are massively parallel processors. Millions of neurons can be active simultaneously, all contributing to our ongoing experience and behavior. Parent computers despite advances in parallel processing, are still primarily serial processors. They handle tasks one at a time, very quickly, but not with the same kind of simultaneous, distributed processing our brains use. The second big difference is in how information is represented. Our brains use analog signaling neurons can fire at various rates and strengths, creating a continuous range of possible signals. Computers, on the other hand, use digital processing everything is ultimately reduced to ones and zeros. Third, there's the issue of energy efficiency. Our brains are incredibly efficient, using only about 20 watts of power less than a typical light bulb. The most powerful supercomputers, while far exceeding our brains in raw computational power for certain tasks, use millions of watts. 
Lastly, there's the question of learning and plasticity. Our brains are constantly rewiring themselves based on our experiences, a property known as neuroplasticity. While machine learning algorithms can adjust their parameters based on data, they don't have the same kind of dynamic, ongoing plasticity that our brains do. Given these fundamental differences, many experts believe it's unlikely that current AI systems are conscious in any meaningful sense. They may be able to process information quickly and efficiently, but they lack the kind of integrated, holistic information processing that seems to be necessary for consciousness. But what about future AI systems? Could they be designed to overcome these limitations and potentially achieve consciousness? That's where our theories of consciousness come in. Even if we did create an AI system that was genuinely conscious, how would we know? This is what philosophers call the hard problem of consciousness. The hard problem stems from the subjective nature of consciousness. We can't directly observe or measure someone else's conscious experience. We can only infer it based on their behavior and reports of their inner states. This is challenging enough with humans, but it becomes even trickier with AI. An AI might be programmed to act as if it's conscious to report having inner experiences without actually having any subjective experience at all. Now, let's imagine for a moment that we do develop conscious AI. What would that mean for us, for society and for the AIs themselves? First, there are profound ethical considerations. If an AI is truly conscious, does it have rights? Should it be protected from being turned off or reprogrammed? These questions might seem abstract now, but they could become very real very quickly if we develop conscious AI. Then there are safety concerns. How do we ensure that conscious AIs are aligned with human values? A conscious AI might have its own goals and desires which might not necessarily align with ours. This is the AI alignment problem on steroids, not just ensuring that AI systems do what we want, but negotiating with potentially conscious entities that have their own wants and needs. There are also fascinating philosophical questions to consider. Would AI consciousness be similar to human consciousness, or would it be utterly alien? Could AIs experience emotions like we do? Could they feel pain or suffering? These questions have implications not just for how we treat AIs, but for our understanding of consciousness itself. The societal impact of conscious AI would be enormous. It would fundamentally change our understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. We would no longer be the only conscious entities we know of, we'd be sharing our world with artificial minds. This could lead to new forms of collaboration and creativity as we work alongside conscious AIs, but it could also lead to new forms of conflict and competition. How would human society change if we're no longer the only conscious game in town? Finally, there's the question of what conscious AI would mean for the future of humanity. Would the development of conscious AI be a step towards the technological singularity, a point where AI surpasses human intelligence and the future becomes unpredictable? Or would it be a new chapter in the story of consciousness on Earth, with artificial and biological minds coexisting and co-evolving? I will let you do the thinking now.